great adventure comes to an end. Good mini adventure. Mini mini. I'll call it mini adventure. shady spot at the campground. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I guess this is just campgrounds, but because we're in the shade, there's no grass. And when I say no grass, like not even a blade. This is campgrounds. And for a campground like that that services a theme park, it's just get her in, get her done, get her out. It's not about a nice pretty campsite. Like there's, there's no privacy. It's just trees and rocks. It was dirt though, so we tracked dust and dirt into our van. My thought was, if it rains, oh good god, it would have been a mud pit. Yeah. So, yeah, you know what, even the camp, like, I've been to lots of campgrounds in my life. Usually your, your campfire pit consists of some sort of like steel shell with a grill. These are just random rocks that the staff has found and just thrown into a pile with broken yeah, it, bricks and stuff. It's kind of a piece of shit. As far as campgrounds are concerned, it's a piece of shit. The washrooms, deplorable. That's the only word I can come up with to describe how absolutely disgusting. Yeah, maybe they had a problem because like there was a backup, I guess, in the washrooms. There was but, a sewage backup for sure. But uh, like, yesterday. it looked like a frat house that hasn't been cleaned in a month. Keep in mind, this is your point of view. Oh, I didn't yeah. go into the men's bathroom. The yeah. women's bathroom, aside, well, of course this is my aside point of view. from the sewage backup yesterday morning and the toilet overflowing and the showers disgusting, it was just a typical bathroom. There wasn't anything nasty in it. No, uh, no. For me, well, and of course it's my point of view. And you know what? I get that people are going to watch this video and they're going to say, but my family had a fantastic time at Darien Lake. It's always been wonderful. Well, yeah, I get it. And I'm not saying you can't have a great time. And you know what? Uh, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Just grabbing our ticket for the toll, the toll highway here. And you know what? Like, let me say this. If you're looking for an inexpensive family getaway for a weekend, and you live in this general area, like within a two-hour drive, it's cheap. I think we paid 150 US a night for the two of us for our spot, and that includes your entry into the park. So yeah, it's not so bad. if you have multiple kids that are at least old enough to take care of themselves, they can just go in and out all they want, all day long. You don't sure. even have to that, monitor That's them. why we parked there, because we didn't have to run a generator, as you've seen in other videos. We were plugged in the whole time. We left our air conditioner running, and we could come and go as we pleased. But the campground is shit. It just is. It's just a shit campground. If you're at the one end of the campground where you pay buku dollar, great, great spot there. But where we were, the cheap, the cheap seats. Uh, okay, anyway. And the bathrooms are disgusting. They smell. They're, but they're not even cleaned. I went in this morning and it looked the same as yesterday, which means nobody, not even the staff are coming in to clean. 
So that's an issue for me, okay? Like, I'm not saying it's got to be, like, you know, the Sistine Chapel in there. I don't think it was this bad two years ago when we came, and I'm also of the mind that it's the last operating long weekend of the year. I feel like people have just fucking given up. Yeah. The staff are, they were jerks. It was just... Uh, I haven't even gotten to that fucking part yet. See? It's a long video. Well, because... I, I I was quiet for your review. I'm just trying to get my two cents in here. Your two cents. Okay, so that's the campground. Minutes. Campground was filthy, uh, dirty, no grass, and just generally noisy. I, I expect what about noisiness. What all the dogs off leashes? That's not even. I'm not even going there. That's that's neither here nor there. I just I found the campground to be very subpar. I'm not happy with it. I get it's attached to a theme park. That's the only plus is that you can walk in and out of the theme park and kind of this seems. You know what, I'm going to say this is a downside too. It seems like a plus sign. You just walk in and out free as a bird. I could have had an AK-47 shoved down my shorts. No, but nobody checks you. There's no security. So at the front gate, they're accosting all the guests. Let me see in your bag. Let me see this. What do you got here? The campers, I saw people rolling in with cases of beer. You can do whatever you want. So everybody out there is probably going, that's a huge plus. Yeah, unless somebody actually did take a gun in from the campground and blew your fucking head off in the park. It's kind of fucked up that there's no security check from the campground. I guess they just assume, you're camping there, you must be a nice person. Yeah, no bad people ever camp. Anyway, the park itself, mediocre. Uh, I believe this year it was bought back by Six Flags. It's a Six Flags park, uh, into a couple. Yeah, they're okay, I'm not saying, well, I want to start a war between, you know, whatever, Disney and Cedar Fair and Six Flags and uh, the Universal and all that, whatever. Parks are parks. But the rides themselves are in uh, ill repair. Uh, yes, of course, everybody sees, ro sees rides down here and there when you go to a theme park. We saw at least a dozen rides like go down multiple times in a day. There so. was some rides that like, if we see it running in the morning, the, the one near the campground. Yeah. And then it just, it doesn't run for the rest of the day, it's just shut yeah. down. Yeah. So I don't know if it's staffing issues or I'm guessing it's ride maintenance issues. The rides themselves are like, they just look like they've been run down. Like the paint's not kept up. There's oil patches everywhere. We're like, yeah, I get these rides require oil, but folks, if you've been to another theme park, you know what I'm talking about. The rides look old, beaten up, rusty, just, they're just not well kept. The new ride this year, Tantrum, I think it's a Gerstlauer coaster. It, it was cool. I'll, I'll give that a thumbs up. It was cool. Uh, I didn't like it. Ride of Steel is a cool ride. It's over 200 feet. It's not a bad ride. Uh, I would compare it to Magnum XL. Only less fun. Magnum but XL? If, no, Magnum XL. It's from that same era. But if you want to compare Ride of Steel, but this is their big coaster, their big steel coaster. If you want to compare that to like the only real like any other top-notch steel coaster out there, bottom of the barrel. Not a not a great coaster. Great for there, but not great. They have a blast tower. It's awesome. I'll give them that much. The blast tower is great. So here's some things I did like. Actually, the time we've gone before at this time, the shows that we've seen there, pretty good. I actually enjoyed the shows. That's part of the theme park for me. Uh, cleanliness average. Uh, ride selection, average. Wait times, thumbs up to wait times. Even the best rides in the park, no more than like a 20 minute wait, so I'll give you that. It's also not a super busy, popular park, so what can you say, right? Uh, overall experience, campground shit. Theme park itself, okay. Water park, second to none. I will give you that. Awesome water park. Did you like lake. water parks? Uh, but here's the downside to the water park. Because it's the best thing in the whole damn park, it is always so busy, so busy. No, it's not even worth waiting. No, like like a water slide line, you're looking at about 45 minutes it's to get on a water river slide. Line. Oh man, to the lazy river. For like 40 to 50 people deep at any given moment for the just for the lazy river. So
talking to each other. Dispatch times on rides are horrible. They're just talking to each other. They're not even working. It's a joke. And the uniforms, this might sound so petty. It is petty. But at other parks, there's a uniform. A certain shirt, like a certain color pant you have to wear, or short, right, etc. I kind of like that this place, you can have full sleeves and work at this place. So I get it. That's awesome. Sleeves meaning tattoos. Yeah, but like the only, the only thing you have to wear there is their shirt. But like people had like, like torn off like jean shorts. I saw jogging pants shorts. It just looks shitty. Like there's not even a uniform. The uniform consists of a shirt and that is the uniform. You can do whatever the hell you want outside of that, which is kind of cool for individual freedom. But there's a theme park, man. You're supposed to have a certain vibe, a certain appearance to a theme park, in my opinion. And I'm a guy covered in tattoos. But when I go to a theme park, I'm going there to pretend I'm not in reality anymore. And this place is far too real to pretend like you're not in reality anymore. It, you know what? This is my last word on Darien Lake. It was okay. The closest comparison I can make to it is... Uh, closer to a carnival, yeah. like a set-up pop-up carnival in a field, even, than it is to a theme park. Even the rides, because the rides are all like miniature versions of better rides in other parks. Yeah, it really That's does. That's why I didn't like them. Yeah, if you went there, you would go, oh yeah, this is this just seems like a county fair versus a theme park. So anyway, sorry to shit all over you, but your staff was kind of rude to us. The rides were all falling apart, the campground was filthy, and it just wasn't an and awesome there's no Holy shit balls, I forgot about that. No Wi-Fi in the park. How fucking cheap can you get? There's no Wi-Fi at not, all. Not in the campground or the... Nowhere. There, there, there was supposed to be Wi-Fi in the campground in that one lodge. Yeah, there's but a... But we couldn't get any. There's a 20 by 20 room called the Camp Lounge, and that's the only place you can get it. And we tried for 20 minutes and you, you couldn't even connect no, anyway. All we wanted to do was check the fucking weather. So anyway, that's it. Would I come back to Darien Lake? is that it's cheap. It's a cheap getaway for a weekend. That's it. We probably spent, including the gas to get there, the border tolls, and the $55 in groceries we spent it at the greasiest Walmart I ever saw in my life. Uh, all in, I would say we were under, for the two of us, for three days, two nights, under $500 US. Well, so, yeah, and like, how much of that was the actual campground fees? Uh, 300 our weekend, 